Well, of course, most of us take the tram to the top of the arch, but one local businesswoman prefers to fly. For 15 years now, we've watched Becky, Queen of Carpet, and Wanda, Princess of Tile, soar over St. Louis on their magic carpet. After seeing so many of their ads, we decided to visit the kingdom of the Queen of Carpet. Didn't take long to find that she is a royal pleasure to know. Hey, Wanda, how fast can you get this thing going? Hang on. Watch out! It all started as a lark. We needed a gimmick, first of all. And so from there we went, well, what kind of gimmick can we use? Here it goes! So Becky Rothman became Becky the Queen of Carpet, complete with a glitzy dress and a sparkly crown. And it worked. People remember the name, they remember the flying carpet, they remember me. Wanda, I'm just flipping over our low prices. Woo-hoo! Frankly, they're a little hard to forget. Becky's commercials are on virtually every station in town. They'll tell me, I can't get away from you at night. Every channel I turn, there's your commercial. Or a lot of the guys will say, I woke up with you last night, and I'm like, Becky's dad started the first two carpet stores 55 years ago. She learned very young that she was the heir apparent. I think it was my 16th birthday. He came up to me and he said, you know, happy birthday. Here's a set of keys to the store. Here's a set of keys to a car. And I'll see you after school. So in order to drive a car, she had to learn to run the store. 20 years later, Becky and two of her four brothers have expanded the family business to five stores around the metro area. I'm large and I'm in charge. You go, girl. Yes. <laughs> But not forever, Becky is grooming her daughter Rachel to wear the crown. Even her prized Dobermans are not so patiently waiting their turn. And now, just for simplicity's sake, Becky changed all the store's names to Becky's Carpet and Tile Superstores. And how does Wanda feel about this? She threw me off the carpet the last commercial, so I guess she wasn't too happy about it. <laughs> well, who cares about Wanda? I wanted my own chance at flying that magic carpet. Watch your footing here. All right. Now, can we stop by my house so I can get my crown? Yes, yes. That's right. a good idea. Let's go. Woo! Isn't this fun? I think this is awesome. Is there any secret? No secrets. Just glide away. Glide away. And look at the view. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. You know what? I think I could get used to this. You probably could. You know, I have my own crown, you know. Not as big as mine, though. Well, that's okay. I could be the queen of carpet. Never. Ah! Bye-bye, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie she fell doesn't off play. and broke your crown. Did you did you uh, survive the fall? I survived the fall, obviously, but she's not giving up her throne. Oh. Well, actually, she's really a nice lady, and she takes her celebrity in stride. She says people stop, ask her for autographs all the time. I was one of them. I know. I stopped. I got my picture taken with the Queen of Carpets today. And so did my photographer, Mark Mowen. Right. He wanted a picture, too. But, you know, she, people even tell her that they dress up as her and Wanda. For Halloween. for Halloween. That's how big a celebrity she That's is. That's a great idea. Yeah, it is a great oh, idea. Memorable. Nice lady. Becky, thanks so much.